Oh. Hey guys, today we're gonna make keto egg salad. So the first thing that we're gonna do is put a pot on with some water to boil, and you want the water to be about um, an inch over your eggs. I'm making egg salad for two, so I'm going to be using two eggs per person. So four eggs. And now you're going to want to bring this to a boil and boil for 10 minutes, and then you're gonna remove it from heat and immediately put the eggs in a cool bath. All right, I'm gonna call this boiling, and now I'm going to cover the eggs for 10 minutes. While the eggs are cooking, I'm going to fill a bowl with mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, lemon juice, salt, pepper. So I am using juice from half a lemon. If you don't have a lemon, you can sub a lime. You can even use like a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Then I'm going to put some Dijon mustard in. I put about two tablespoons in, but I always just eyeball it. I never measure. And then mayo. Put about four tablespoons, four to six tablespoons of mayonnaise in. All right guys, so I boiled my eggs for 10 minutes and now they're in this water bath. And now I'm going to crack and just kind of rough them up a bit and put them in the mixture. I was actually talking to my mom on the phone after I got this prepped and I let them cook for a little bit longer, probably like 12 minutes. So they might be pretty overdone, but we'll see. They're peeling really easily, which I really like. I refrigerate this for two days. I've never tried freezing it. I don't think eggs can be frozen, but it's really quick and easy to prep and make. I like easy, quick lunches. If you notice, all of my recipes take about 30 minutes to make, to prep and cook, because I'm a busy mother and I don't have time for that. Now I just like to crumble it with my fingers. You can chop it, oh it's perfect, it's not overdone at all. I am very pleased. I can chop it up more with my fork and I can always add more mayonnaise, more mustard, more salt and pepper. It really is that versatile. Now to plate, I'm gonna do it two ways. This plate is for my husband. He is keto, but he does eat dairy, so I'm going to put some cheese on his plate. I'm going to serve his with some pepper jack cheese. And we're really big on veggies here. So I'm also going to give him a few. Slices of bell pepper. And there's plate one for my husband. Now I am dairy free keto and I'm going to put my food in coconut wraps. These things are really awesome and they're super low carb. I do eat a little bit more carbs than my husband because I'm breastfeeding. He does under 20 grams, I do under 30 grams. And on mine, I like some red onions, a little bit of tomato, and of course that yummy slice of bacon. But I like to crumble mine. I'm going to serve mine with a pickle and some black olives. And there's plate number two. So I hope you guys enjoyed the dairy-free egg salad recipe. Let me know in the box below if there's any more recipes you guys want me to keto-fy or any keto recipes you want me to dairy-fy. Um, and my family and I thank you for following our channel. She slept through the whole video.